thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. I was praying about our time together and verse that God dropped in my heart to encourage you with is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, and it says, who comforts us in all of our afflictions so that we are able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort that we have received from God. And you know, I believe that many of you watching right now, you're going through some adversity and some struggles and some hardships. And I want to encourage you, of course, we want to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We love to pray for you. But also keep in mind that the comfort, God, God will bring you through the adversity. God will bring you through the hardship and the struggle. Absolutely. But remember that at the end of the day, God uses those things that we receive comfort so that we can pass that on to other people as well. And so I just encourage you, if you're having a financial need, a physical need, maybe there's some family struggles that are going on, emotional needs, please hop on the phone, get on the website. We would love to pray for you. And I'm so excited today. We have one of my favorite guests of all times, Dr. Janet McCaro. Thank you so much. So good to be back. Thrilled to have you with yes. us. And, you know, not everybody in our audience knows you because not everybody has time to watch every single day. Right. Right. So give us a little quick thumbnail, background biography, and I'm telling you, you're going to love Dr. Janet. She's amazing. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about who you are. Well, for 30 <clears throat> years, I've been studying and teaching natural medicine. I've written over 10 books on the topic, mm. and it was birthed out of a struggle of being a sickly child, you know, and finally I had to put my hands on the wheel of my own health and find the root cause, mm. and that led me to today. I mean, I've worked very long and hard in research and life experiences. I have walked through many, many things. Mm -hmm. And so we're here today to kind of, it's sort of like a culmination day. Why all those things I walked through led me here today. I'm, I can't wait to share, but yes, this is what I do. I love to help people find the root cause. Sure. Love to teach them how to take control of their health and, uh, you know, and know that God will bring them out because I'm living proof. Yeah, and the comfort that you received. Yes. Now you're passing on to Amen. all of our audience. Absolutely. Super I mean, I'm good. sitting here today, which you're going to find out in a minute. I didn't think I'd be sitting here today, you know, and I knew I had my faith, you know, but sometimes when you're in that valley of adversity, sometimes it's hard to see that light, but you know he's there and he walked me through. Sure. And so I can tell you, anybody listening, he will get you through it. Yep. He will get you through it. I yep. mean, no doubt. Yep. So. And if you're in a valley of, of adversity now, please get on the phone, hop yes. on the website. We want to pray with you. Of course, of course. But you know, Dr. Janet, um, mm -hmm. you have this new book out, yes. Thyroid Health, Guide to Thyroid Health. Yes. And we were talking a little bit off, off camera, um, some of the, your experience, a little bit of your journey. Walk us through, what's the thyroid thing? Because it seems like a little bit of a buzzword and why is this a big deal? Well, it's more than a buzzword <laughs> to me sure. because let me, I'll, I'll give you the end and then I'll start at the beginning. Um, in 2012 and 13, okay, in 2012, my daughter, my youngest daughter, I have three children. My youngest was diagnosed with stage three thyroid cancer, which was devastating to me and to her, of course. And as a mother, it's, you know, it's hard to receive that diagnosis over your child. And then at the same time, I was diagnosed in 2013, after I got her through her surgery, okay, the next year I was diagnosed and I had my thyroid removed due to cancer as well. Mm. So we both walked through this together and it was quite a journey, but I'll go back and say that it took 40 years for them to find out that I had thyroid illness. Now, somebody who has written and studied for most of my life okay, has studied natural medicine and the body intricately, can have thyroid cancer and thyroid disease and not know it, right. then I am very concerned. My, my passion is to get the word out there for people, women especially, who suffer the most with this. If I can get them to diagnosis in days instead of decades, mm -hmm. then I can, you know, that's, that's my responsibility. God mm -hmm. walked, got me through it. I have the responsibility to share it. Sure. But now, because it took 40 years to get a diagnosis, that meant 20 years for my daughter to get diagnosed because my kids are older. Now, after I wrote this book, most recently, my son, my oldest child, 38, he was dangerously close to losing his life because his thyroid was almost gone because of autoimmune thyroid disease, which we'll talk about today. 
So, and he's a dentist for the children of the Navajo Nation, and he works very hard up there, and, you know, he wouldn't listen, he wasn't feeling good, could hardly walk, and I, you know, he came down to Phoenix, I said, get in there, you know, and when his tests came back, they were very, very bad. They said, you are close to, close to death, mm. and because his thyroid was the size of a peanut, you know, so it's like, I'm here to bring awareness, okay, and once, you know, we, we perish because of a lack of knowledge. Sure. God is bringing all kinds of knowledge to us these days in these, in these last days. There's so many things that we have to be aware of. I mean, thyroid disease has grown exponentially. So many things are behind the increase in thyroid disease. So many things in our environment, in our diets. Genetically, it's there. But genes don't have to express. There's a lot of triggers that make them express. So the purpose of the book was to it's my story, number one. For anybody that reads this book, they must know that anything that I write, I've, I've lived through. That's the unique thing when I write a book. It, a lot of people don't understand that. It's not all, you know, very technical. It's my story yeah. because I feel that I have a responsibility to show them. I know what it's like. I've been there. And if you've been there, you can teach it. Sure. And then I give them what to look for, what to ask for, how to push, mm -hmm. how to push, you know, and mm -hmm. push until something happens. I had to, right? I had to, and my daughter's life was saved because yep. of that, pushing. So I just encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website. So mm -hmm. many of us, Dr. Janet's right, we perish because of lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And and I love too, one of the things I love about you, and yep. I know this off camera, because we've texted and stuff yep. and chatted and we yes. watch each other on Facebook right, and all this. Right. But I love what you see is what you get. She's super authentic yep. and transparent. And I love that you, reveal your journey as well because That's sometimes right. I think we look at people and we're like mm -hmm. oh you know they're so good at all this stuff and I don't know but I love that you're honest with it and mm -hmm. you're just really forthcoming and and not just that but also give some practical steps what what are we talking about exactly here? hop on the phone get on the website and I'm telling you grab a couple of copies because they make great gifts so what are when you started thinking about thyroid yeah. stuff what were some of the triggers well first let me tell you this a lot of people go to the doctor and they will run a panel like a CBC and a thyroid panel and they'll they'll check TSH only thyroid stimulating hormone and that simply tells them how well your pituitary is communicating with your thyroid that doesn't tell them much these days and there's a range from 0 to 4 if you follow within that range you're fine, in their words. In their, you know, you're, you're good. Well, what they're not testing for, and and what they didn't test for on me that that made my life a living hell, was the fact that I had thyroid antibodies, and that means that my body was attacking my thyroid, an autoimmune attack, destroying it. And when it destroyed it, started to destroy it, it weakened my adrenal glands. Now, you know that I've written a lot of books, and when I was writing one book, I was promoting the previous book. I had a really hard schedule. So there was a lot of stress, of travel and making deadlines and writing. You know, it's just a lot of work. And I thought maybe that's what, why I was feeling so tired and run down and stressed. I began having panic attacks. It was really hard. My body was stiff. My muscles were sore. My skin was dry. I couldn't focus. I couldn't concentrate. Something was clearly wrong. But I kept going, thinking, well, you know, this is God's work. I got to do it. I got to keep pushing. On. Power on. I, I, I was soldiering right through because I said, this is what God has called me to do. Well, so I went from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor. Long story, 40 doctors. 40. 40. And that, and I'm telling wow. you, 40 doctors, not one of them caught it, that it was autoimmune thyroid disease. They said, you're fine. You're fine. You have some inflammatory markers, but... You're just stressed. Don't worry about it. Okay? Who found it? Incidentally, a nurse practitioner said, you know, let's, you know, let me, let me test your thyroid antibodies. And she did. She called me up and she, you, she said, you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Okay? What I've learned is that most cases of, of hypothyroidism are Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which means autoimmune thyroid disease. Thyroid disease. That's what I had. All right, so I had a name for it. Now what do I do? Well, some doctors say... 
Well, you don't treat it. Yeah, but hold on. So yep. what are some of the symptoms then? The symptoms? Some, some people watching will be like, that's a big, long word. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Okay, well, your <clears throat> thyroid con controls every cell of your body, okay? It controls, you have thyroid receptors in your brain. It affects your heart. It affects your digestion. It affects your blood sugar. It, it affects your metabolism. Hair loss, um, dry eyes, oral health, infections. Um, I had MRSA. I had MRSA. Okay. I had intestinal infections. I, all of a sudden, all these things really hit me because I was under a lot of stress. Okay. And it hit, I could not believe what was happening, you know, and my daughter at the same time was getting more and more ill, more and more ill. We went to doctors and doc we went to Mayo Clinic and they missed it. I went to the top thyroid specialist in the country who supposedly lived, you know, around me in Scottsdale, couldn't help wow. us because it was autoimmune. There was, it's so intricate, but it really isn't <clears throat> because most of the things happen because of the gut. 75% of our immune system is in our gut. So that's where it begins. But I'll back up a little bit and just say that to date, I've helped over 300 women find either the fact that they had Hashimoto's or thyroid cancer. That's amazing. And, you know, we're going to take just a brief little pause for yep. a second. And when we come back, we're mm -hmm. going to talk about, you know, what are some things that help wise. Sure. You know, and, and I encourage you as we take a break here for a quick second, grab your copy, grab several copies mm -hmm. of Dr. Janet's Guide to Thyroid Health. Because really, when we walk in fullness of health, then we walk in the purposes and plans that mm -hmm. God has designed us for mm -hmm. without, uh, you know, lessening or weakening, but the yes. fullness of God's plan. So hop on the phone, get on the website. Of course, we want to pray for you and grab several copies of this wonderful, amazing book. With over 200 varying symptoms, thyroid disease is often an undetected and undertreated disease, leaving countless sufferers unhappy and unhealthy. The demand for answers is urgent as thyroid disease has reached epidemic proportions. In her new book, Dr. Janet's Guide to Thyroid Health, Dr. Janet Macaro shares her experience as a survivor of Hashimoto thyroiditis and thyroid cancer to help people who are suffering with undiagnosed ailments related to the thyroid. For your gift of $35 or more, we will send you Dr. Macaro's book, along with Marilyn's Total Healing 2 CD teaching set. Through this teaching, you will answer how healing ties into your overall relationship with God and how to keep sickness from returning, live in divine health, and bring healing to others. We will also send our healing scripture card filled with encouraging words of life. It's your body. It's your health. Take charge of it today. Call or click today for this valuable resource. I had no idea how deep and incredible it was going to be. Unlike anything I've ever seen. This trip has made a uh, pretty big impact on my life. And Father, we thank you that healing is the children's bread. If you could see the look in these children's eyes, you would know you know how much nightcare means to them. The lives that I've seen, it's just, it's totally going to impact my life. Seeing the, um, where the kids come from, seeing where they live versus um, what they get here at night. I cannot imagine these children not having nightcare. And that's a great testimony to them that someone is willing to come from across the world to love them in the name of Jesus. Thank you again for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. We're continuing our conversation with Dr. Janet and your new book, Thyroid Health, The Guide to Thyroid Health. And you and I were just talking about this, and it was kind of dawned on me. Not everybody knows what a thyroid is. A, what is it? B, where is it? Where is it? C, what does it do? Right. So help okay. us on that. So the thyroid gland straddles your windpipe, and it's in the shape of a butterfly, okay? So the sign of someone who has the symbol, if they see a butterfly, if I, like, well, let's go back to, you've been glancing at my butterfly. Sure. Okay, I wear one every single day because it kind of resembles a thyroid gland, and it's a symbol that I'm a thyroid cancer survivor. Nice. Okay? So every day you'll see one on me somewhere, sure. you know? 
good conversation starter. So, but that's where it is. It straddles your windpipe, okay? What does it do, okay? I mentioned just a moment ago, it controls everything in your body, but here's an example. If you have hypothyroidism, you may find that your heart rate slows down, okay? Hypo meaning under? S under, under functioning. Sure. So my body temperature, okay, a normal body temperature is 98.6. Mine was 96.8 my entire life. Wow. No doctor ever said, you know, what's wrong with you? What gives, yeah. One doctor called me a lizard. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> he said, you must be a reptile, you know, because it's so low. Ugh. Blood pressure was very, very low. It seems like everything in your body has a harder time. See, when your body temperature is ideal, then you can fight infections better. You know, it's, it's homeostasis, you know, everything. God made our body wonderfully. But if this thing is not working the way it should for some reason, and it happens, then all the other things falter. Like, again, digestion. Digestion is very slow. So you'll have constipation, poor circulation, um, again, metabolic things where you'll gain weight you, no matter how you try to exercise. And also you, your ability to exercise is hampered. You, you just can't do it like you used to. Okay? Mm -hmm. I used to walk and jog. I, used to, I did it all, and I started slowing down. I go, well, I'm just getting older, you know. And, and, of course, I am getting older. But the thing is, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be slowing down like I was. Right. Muscles are stiff, not getting enough oxygen into the blood and, you know, muscles. Um, concentration was bad. Um, there were headaches. There were joint pains. Um, again, let's see, the skin got very, very, very dry, unusually dry. Um, one time I went for a manicure and the woman said, your skin is the driest skin I've ever seen, you know. And then they brought out a whole litany of lotions for me to, you yeah. know, you know. Yeah. So I noticed a lot of things starting to happen, but again, I ignored them because I was so passionate about helping other people get well, okay? But I didn't know at the same time that there was something lurking and lingering in my body for a very long time that was taking, it's very insidious, very insidious, slow process. Um, now, if you have hyperthyroidism, And that's okay, overactive. Overactive, you'll right. be very, you can't hold weight. You know, you may have diarrhea because everything's sped up you know, um, and uh, your heart may flutter, you know, you may have tachycardia, right. you know, your eyes may start to, they call bulging eyes of hyper, hyperthyroidism, yeah, everything starts to change, but you become very thin and you're very, um, very hot, you feel hot, or hypothyroidism, you feel cold. Hmm. So it's like your little, it's like your engine's running too fast, so you get overheated. So it kind of deals with your metabolism. Exactly. Okay. But everything, but there are thyroid receptors all over your body. So sure. this thyroid hormone has to go everywhere to, sure. for you to feel ideal. And do you talk about all of that in All here? of it. It's all in there. Super Everything's good. Everything's in there. Super good. And so much more. Right. But um, the thing is, is you've got to get to diagnosis sooner rather than, rather than later because it affects everything. And most worrisome is the heart, you know, because oh, yeah. untreated, it could lead to congestive heart disease and high cholesterol, which I had for many years. And, and through my teachings and through my books, I learned to lower it, but it was a battle. Other people, I could help. It was wonderful, but I couldn't get my numbers where they needed to be. I didn't know my thyroid wow. had a problem. Wow, man, you need to hop on the phone. Yeah. My goodness, grab this, Dr. Janet's Guide to Thyroid Health. Because seriously, mm -hmm. how many of us have these symptoms or know people that have mm -hmm. these symptoms? They're always cold, right? Right. And they're like, can't always, never get warm even though it's 98 degrees right. outside. That was me. Or the people mm -hmm. who are perpetually hot and it's like 40 degrees and they're right. like oh, sweating. There you go. So, yep. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Right. Can't gain weight, can't lose weight. Right. Hop on the phone, get on the website. This would be a huge, huge mm -hmm. help to you. It'd be great for a small group. Right. Right? I mean, like seriously, and talk about these things and some accountability. Okay, so when when you say get diagnosed yes so what do you what do you do okay. i mean they do that the th they do the tsh tsh most commonly that's how they <clears throat> test it and they missed it on me again 40 years i went they told me i was fine but when they tested for the antibodies and that would be tpo thyroid peroxidase antibodies and tg thyroglobulin antibodies they were extremely elevated and that meant there was a full-on autoimmune attack upon my thyroid, which means it was being destroyed. Now... Your body was destroying your it was thyroid. Attacked. Mm -hmm. Autoimmune. Well, that's autoimmune. Yeah, why, why is that? And it gets triggered by things like 
stress. Okay, now there's a genetic component, which I have found, by the way. I mean, I was doing research 24-7 during this time. Sure. And I said, I've got to look at my family tree. And I recalled that, okay, I'm of Italian descent, and I can remember my grandmother and all of my aunts never feeling well. They had a pill for every ill. Hmm. They had a heart doctor, a gastrointestinal doctor. They had a neurologist. They had everything. They had a doctor for every system, you know, endocrinologist. They had it all. Nobody found that they had thyroid issues. But guess what? My cousins all do. Their children all do. Wow. Which tells me that their parents must have had it too. In addition to that, my own mother had undiagnosed thyroid disease. I look at pictures of her now, I can see it here. And untreated, it could lead to dementia and that's what killed my mother. Wow, crazy, oh my goodness. So I'm telling you, I, I have researched this thing like you can't believe. And so, it, also we'll, we'll talk again about the adrenal glands play into this because if your thyroid is being attacked, your adrenal has to pick up the slack. Right. And if you're under a lot of stress, your adrenals are going to go into adrenal fatigue and exhaustion, which is what happened to me. And it got much, much worse after that. Wow. So yeah. the thyroid kind of starts to either over or underwork. Under. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the adrenals kick in to try and compensate. That's and, correct. And regulate, balance it out on the other side. So, the, and the things that to test for, to ask for, because they do the TSH. And then you want That's the, normal, but you want the what? TG. TG. To, to break it, just make it real yep. simple. TG and then TPO antibodies. It can save their life. Nice. And it can change their life. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you know, you said it at the beginning of our time. We perish for lack of knowledge. That's right. And I think this is such a critical, critical topic. And you know, too, I mean, it, it, you know, it was an attack, you know. I mean, I feel it was an attack on my entire family lineage of the sure, enemy. Sure, sure. You know? And so I'm a woman of great faith, and, and prayer life is strong. And if I didn't find this, if this didn't happen, my kids, you know, my children could not have made it. I mean, my daughter at a young age, stage three, they said that is so unusual for her to have stage three thyroid cancer wow. and to watch her have to swallow radioactive iodine and yeah. isolate her. Wow. And uh, it, it's just, it's all in the book. But, you know, it was really a, a heart-wrenching thing. Mm. But, you know, f through this experience, all of us now, all, all three of my kids have it, you know. Sure. And they all are, they're, they spread the word and they're helping more. So we're just out there, you know, out of, a, out of something that could have been a bad thing, yep. became a bad, God works all things together for good. Right. And there's a, this is a perfect example. So I'm glad to be here to share this. I didn't think I'd be here again because, sure. you know, it led to other things. I mean, autoimmune disease is not an easy mm -mm. thing to deal with because mm -mm. mm -mm. it affects more than just the thyroid. Yep. That's what we need to, you know, talk at some point. Nice. Too. Mm -hmm. And it's really the comfort that you received, yes. the information, yes. and the con con consul what is it? Uh, consolation, whatever, yes. you pass on to others. Amen. We talked about it at the beginning, yes. 2 Corinthians 1, verse 4. So Absolutely. I just encourage you, hop on the phone, because the truth of it is, all of us know, or ourselves, we know people or we have these symptoms ourselves, mm -hmm. and God wants us to live in tremendous victory and tremendous energy and purpose and design. So hop yes. on the phone. Get on the website, grab a couple of copies. This would be a tremendous gift. Birthday gift, Christmas gift, celebration gift, any kind. Just even like a dinner party. Somebody invites you over, bring this book as a nice mm -hmm. gift to say mm -hmm. thank you. This is a wonderful, wonderful resource to yes. help us walk in truth, vitality, energy, and God's purpose and design in our life. So hop on the phone. Of course, we love to pray for you. And we know that God has good things for you today. With over 200 varying symptoms, thyroid disease is often an undetected and undertreated disease, leaving countless sufferers unhappy and unhealthy. The demand for answers is urgent, as thyroid disease has reached epidemic proportions. In her new book, Dr. Janet's Guide to Thyroid Health, Dr. Janet Makaro shares her experience as a survivor of Hashimoto thyroiditis and thyroid cancer to help people who are suffering with undiagnosed ailments related to the thyroid. For your gift of $35 or more, we will send you Dr. Macaro's book, along with Marilyn's Total Healing 2 CD teaching set. Through this teaching, you will answer how healing ties into your overall relationship with God and how to keep sickness from returning, live in divine health, and bring healing to others. 
We will also send our healing scripture card filled with encouraging words of life. It's your body. It's your health. Take charge of it today. Call or click today for this valuable resource. I had no idea how deep and incredible it was going to be. Unlike anything I've ever seen. This trip has made a uh, pretty big impact on my life. And Father, we thank you that healing is the children's bread. If you could see the look in these children's eyes, you would know, you'd know how much nightcare means to them. The lives that I've seen, it's just, it's totally going to impact my life. Seeing the, um, where the kids come from, seeing where they live, versus um, what they get here at night. I cannot imagine these children not having night care. And that's a great testimony to them that someone is willing to come from across the world to love them in the name of Jesus. I know you're thinking, mm, I could really use some prayer. So, mm -hmm. I want Dr. Janet to pray for you. This is yes. opportunity. So just put your hand on your heart and you pray for them. I'd be glad to. Father, I pray for everybody watching who has a need in their life. Maybe they're dealing with an illness that there seems to be no answer to. Maybe their child has a disease that there's no, seems to be no answer to. I've been there, Father. I know that you delivered my children and me from a very serious issue. I know that you can do it for all the people listening. I pray, Father God, that you send the Holy Spirit to give them comfort, to heal their bodies, their minds. Give them peace, Lord, during this walk. As you lead them, as you heal them, give them your wisdom, your knowledge. Set them free and from their diseases and you know that you're their healer and I know it. So everybody watching know that he's a God that healeth thee. He's done it for me. He's done it for thousands throughout all time. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. That is so great. Mm -hmm. Dr. Janet, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, you, thank you. It's been we wonderful. love having we love you with you. us. I love being here. You're Completely the best. love it. You're the best. You know, I just encourage you, if you haven't gotten your book yet, grab it. It's a huge resource for you and absolutely wisdom of God to help you walk this out and not live in, in all these symptoms and all these pains and all this, you know, oh my goodness, discouraging news from doctors and everything. Grab your book. Yes. It'll be a tremendous blessing. Give it to your friends. And we're just grateful because we know that God is our healer and God heals us in so many ways. Let's cooperate with all of those different ways that God heals us today. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We're so thrilled that we get to minister to you on YouTube. So of course, you got to hit the subscribe button because we want to continue to get to connect and at your convenience. That's one of the things I love about YouTube is you can watch at your own convenience. And when you subscribe, then you get all the latest and the greatest.